Tom Cruise in yet another sci-fi movie. Let's hope it's better than the last one. Welcome back, everybody, and today I'm here to discuss Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow is a movie based on a novel, I don't know the name of the novel, directed by Doug Liman, who brought us the first Bourne movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's also starring the one and only Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, and Bill Paxton in a very small role. Tom Cruise plays a major in the U.S. military who gets into the situation where he's living every single day on repeat, kind of like Groundhog Day, matter of fact, and then he figures out how to defeat these aliens that have invaded the planet Earth in the European continent. With the help of Emily Blunt, he has to live every single day to try to figure out where the source of the alien army is, and that way all can be at peace with the world. I like a good sci-fi, as long as it's good, and as long as it, it, and as long as it's refreshing, because usually sci-fi tends to be all the same schlock. Last year we had Star Trek in the Darkness, which I really liked, but as far as something unheard of or unique in a certain way, I'm all for that. And based on the trailers, though, it didn't really look like it would be that interesting. I mean, the premise was interesting enough, but I was afraid that it was going to fall into the same confinements of sci-fi. And I'm pleased and surprised to say that I had a really good time with this movie. I mean, I heard a lot of good things about it, but I stayed away from that because I don't like to have a predetermined mindset on what the movie's like. And I was very pleased with it. And I will say, definitely one of the best movies of the summer hands down. Doug Liman's got a really good grip on his direction here. The whole look of the, and feel of the movie, it feels very realistic, and the special effects look really good. Really good. I mean, I'm sure some of it was CGI, but if it was, it looks convincing enough to me, because those alien creatures, or whatever they are, they're like Transformers or something, and it was nice to see those different kind of aliens, because, you know, it's, it's, it's refreshing in a lot of ways, and it's not something we've seen before. And Doug Liman is very good at suspense, because there are certain moments where you could tell that an alien's gonna pop up from behind something, and you're just kind of going like, oh shit, oh boy. Good job, Mr. Liman. Well done. And I don't know who wrote the script for this movie. I mean, it, it's an adaptation of a book, so obviously a lot of that stuff's happening lately, but whatever. And while the basic concept of Groundhog Day, it's nothing really new, for some reason, the way the movie's written and the way it's directed, I was actually kept on the edge of my seat for the most part, going, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Tom Cruise, I've never seen him give a bad performance in a movie. I mean, look, the guy's pretty crazy and other things that he's done in his life, but whatever. I think he's a terrific actor, and once again, he's spot on 100%. He's really funny in this movie. It's Tom Cruise. And Emily Blunt, she's a standout here. She is badass. She is badass, and she's... Quite beautiful, too, but okay. She really stands out here, and she she holds her own in the fight scenes very well, and she can she can trick me all she wants. And all the other actors, I don't remember all the actors in there except for Bill Paxton and Brendan Gleeson's in here, too. They don't really have a big part in the story, and even though I might have wanted a little more time with it, at the same time, I'm glad that they didn't really focus too much on them, because it really would have slowed down, and it would have been like, can we get this over with, please? And I don't really have any flaws with this movie. I mean, maybe in some ways the ending could have been brushed up just a little bit better. That's just me being nitpicky. But at the end of the day, it's one of the better sci-fi films that I've seen in a while, in two years since Looper, and it's one of the best movies of the summer, and maybe of the year for that matter, and just really fun and very well-executed sci-fi movie. If you've seen Edge of Tomorrow, let me know what you thought down below, and... What's your favorite Tom Cruise movie? Very curious to know about that. My personal favorite's Jerry Maguire, but let's have at it, shall we? See you next time, guys. Yeah.